Good Wednesday evening. This is Pixelated Twix, your favorite nighttime DJ. And if I wasn't before, then I hope to be soon. In all seriousness, welcome to the booth. The first official of what may be perhaps a bi-weekly or monthly podcast where I editorialize and provide basic news about gaming and everything else that entails. So yes, you will get my honest opinion about games I'm playing, have played, or looking forward to playing. We're also gonna chit chat, so look forward to that. Um, Of course, we can't be in the DJ booth without a little music. So in between segments, my plan is to feature an artist or of my choice actually, or perhaps yours, it depends. Uh, Remember, we are on YouTube. So copyright infringements in mind, we play DMCA free music only here, or at least what I can get away with that's under three seconds. I will make sure to link all the music I play in the description box, just in case you want to add something to your own personal catalog of favorite tracks. I like to do that sometimes too. Now, speaking of playlists, what's on your current mixtape of games as of late? Are you like me because Mine can be pretty extensive at times. I tend to have gamer ADD, especially now that I'm not playing World of Warcraft full time or just at all. Um, MMOs like WoW are like the needy boyfriend or girlfriend. They require all of your attention, no exceptions. But you're so in love, you're willing to give them all of your quality time. Guilty, guilty as charged. I gave WoW a whole lot of years and plenty, plenty of my money. He's not only needy, but expensive. Between the race changes, faction switches, server hopping, mounts, pets, the list goes on and on and on. I'm telling you, I've been playing this game since the Burning Crusade expansion. And I think it's about time we start seeing other people. Mm hmm. Now, don't get me wrong, WoW and I have had some great times. There have been so many stories that I could just talk for hours. But for years now, we just haven't been seeing eye to eye. And we tend to break up to make up. And I'm frankly tired of the roller coaster disappointment. And Shadowlands, currently, the current expansion has just been a major grind fest for me. And maybe I'll delve into that a little bit later. But anyway, that's how I'm feeling currently. Sorry, Activision Blizzard, but I digress. Now, what I've been playing as of late, oh wait, before I get into that, let me ask you a question and let me set it up first, okay? I'm kind of in this gaming rut and let me know if this happens to you too or if it's just a me problem. When I start getting bored, I head to the Steam store and I start looking for something to play. Mind you, I have access to a whole lot of games and most of them I have yet to touch. Now between the Xbox, the PlayStation 4, the Switch, and all the applications of my PC, I have enough not to be bored, right? But there's just so much 
that you don't know what to play or you just want to find something new. I mean, that's me. Is that you too? Just asking. Anyway, so let me just kind of go over my playlist, what I'm looking at right now. Um, like that's what I have installed on my computer. Pretty much I have just a few that I've been going back and forth with. Nothing like really, really serious. The only thing I've been playing seriously is Boundless and Elder Scrolls Online. Those are my top two right now. I have been kind of messing around with the tenants, my time at Porsche, Minecraft, and Minecraft Dungeons. Those are kind of like my top six right now. I tend to switch back and forth, like I said, and I'm really kind of looking forward to, I think I'm just kind of in this kind of, I don't know, like a transition, waiting for my uh, Mass, Mass Effect Legendary to, to release. And I believe that's releasing on May 14th. I'm looking forward to that remake. That was my jam back in the day. I think I played Mass Effect, the, the trilogy, so much. I also enjoyed Andromeda, and I know that is a topic that is very controversial to a lot of folks, but I love that game. I don't care. Maybe I love it, but I like it. And I like it enough to play it again. And I was thinking about trying to play that possibly on my channel. I'm not really into like major LPs right now. I am doing like a permadeath series with Boundless, but I'm not sure how I feel about adding Mass Effect to, to that, you know, additional playlist because it's, it's a lot. It really is. There's hundreds of hours worth of gameplay just in the first, I don't know, well, am I talking about Andromeda or the trilogy? I'm thinking about all four, but just, yeah, all four of those, that's hundreds of hours. And that would de definitely take me, definitely, definitely, there's my Rain Man, definitely take me a few months, several months, maybe, okay, let's just say it, about, probably about two years. And I have this track record of not finishing games on my channel. So let's be honest, it might not even happen. That being said, we're going to go ahead and continue the conversation about Mass Effect after the song break. Let me know what you think about this. It's called uh, Magic. It's by Dylan Rockoff. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Something about you supernatural I get goosebumps every time you call Got me running through my fantasies 40 West, I'm doing 93 Tell me where the sparks come from Don't know, did we both bring some? Doing something that I can't explain Lately, no, I'm not the same You're just like magic Not sure what it is, but baby, you have it Life's better ever since you have it You're just like magic With a blinder faith When we disappear and levitate Now I know where the sparks come from One touch, I was so far gone Still something that I can't explain Lately, no, I'm not the same You're just like magic Not sure what it is, but baby, you have it Life's better ever since you have it You're just like magic Welcome back to In The Booth. Once again, that was Dylan Rockoff's Magic. 
and I am Pixelated Twix. So just to continue our conversation before about Mass Effect Andromeda, I don't know if a lot of you have actually played the Mass Effect trilogy, but um, Mass Effect Andromeda was kind of the fourth uh, installment. Well, it was the fourth installment in the Mass Effect series, but it was a standalone. Um, it continued the story, but um, it, you could definitely play it without even even knowing anything about the first three games. Those were like golden years for Bioware. Even like the last, the third one in the installment, people just kind of questioned. There was some controversy about the ending of the game, but I enjoyed it. I, I love Mass Effect and I didn't have a problem with it. So the, the Mass Effect Andromeda controversy basically had a lot to do with just the way the game or the IP release, I mean, it was pretty bad. There was some issues with animations just in general that were terrible. The voice syncing with the the characters, the 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 diversity and the skin colors sometimes in role playing role playing games, RPGs um, for the cool kids, the <laughs> there is a lack of skin tone, skin complexions for people of color. I generally don't have an issue with it personally, but that's probably because a lot of times my skin color is easy to find. I'm, you know, pretty light, so it's easier to for me to kind of use whatever skin colors that are there. Um, but of course, if you're playing an RPG, you want to play yourself if the character isn't static, you know, like your um, uh, Geralt from The Witcher or something like that. But um, so you, in this case, in Mass Effect Andromeda, the lighter skin tones were kind of not there. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the, there was that issue. And then, of course, um, there was the issue of the story. Some people just didn't like the way it carried um, carried from the original trilogy. Like it just basically forgot about the entire um backstory of Mass Effect. I mean, there was some like hints here and there, but again, I enjoyed it. I think it was a big improvement as far as like combat was concerned and the Mako, the Mako, um, which is the vehicle that you use in Mass Effect, huge improvement because before it was like a mini game. Now it's just fully fleshed out. You can drive it around the planets. I did like the planets that you, you know, it was more open world uh, than the previous iterations. Those were very linear, but I still enjoy the story. Still didn't have a problem with the combat of, of old. I still don't. I can go back and play them now, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Bioware has done with the old stuff now i'm looking forward to maybe another mass effect in the future hopefully dragon age will be good that is probably one of my favorite high fantasies one yeah i've got a couple on my list skyrim elder scrolls being probably my top my top top maybe i don't know i don't know but yeah so that's basically all i have for you guys today um not too much oh by the way let's before i go um Bioware, speaking of, is, uh, there's a rumor, there's a rumor, if any, if any of you have played KOTOR, which is Knights of the Old Republic websites like Games Radar and Screen Rant, they're confirming that there's a remake of uh, KOTOR, so I don't know when this is going to be released, but it was originally released in 2003, I have not played that game, please do not take my nerd card I have not played that game. I have been wanting to play it, thinking about adding it to as a let's play to my channel. But if there's going to be a remake, I may just wait. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just go ahead and play it because who's to say what the future holds. But, you know, uh, antiquated graphics aside, I'm really told I'm told that Koto is was currently is Bioware's best RPG. People can argue that in the comments below. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm just curious. All right, guys, for real this time, that is all I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed the first podcast for In the Booth, and maybe we'll have some more depending on how this goes. All right. Talk to you later. Ciao.